right off the bat for anyone who's new I have two little girls London is four and Lakin is two and me and my husband did a very minimal approach to Christmas this year much so than we have in the past we've always kept things really minimal but this year we really scaled it down and honestly it made everything a lot less stressful and it just simplified the whole thing so much easier so I'm really happy with the way we did Christmas this year and we'll probably honestly continue to do Christmas the same way this year also if I seem really out of breath it's because I am I'm 37 weeks pregnant with baby boy so he can kind of come whenever he wants at this point and so I'm sure I'm gonna be very out of breath during this video and I'm going to apologize in advance earlier this this season I did the 12 days of Christmas and I did a Christmas budget video um, along in my 12 days of Christmas so I will link my 12 days of Christmas playlist down below if you haven't seen that if you want to catch up or if you just want to watch that specific video but basically in the video I say that we did a hundred dollar budget for both of our girls this year so each girl we spent a hundred dollars on and then what it, when that budget was gone it was gone and it just worked out that the girls got pretty much the same amount of gifts I think they each got three things or but anyways you're gonna go ahead and see so I'm gonna stop rambling and go ahead and start with what we got my four-year-old London and of course before I hop in really quick to the video I'm always gonna tell you guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram it's at Cassie and crew and let's go ahead and hop into what I got my kids for Christmas so with the whole Disney Plus thing London's always been really into Toy Story and she loves dinosaurs if you're not new you know that she's obsessed she loves dinosaurs but with us getting Disney Plus she's been watching a lot of Toy Story I mean it's like on repeat in my house right now and she obviously loves Rex from Toy Story so we saw this at Target and we picked this up during the Veterans Day sales so we ended up saving a little bit of cash on this guy um, I don't remember exactly how much we got it for if I can I'll try to put prices um, up on the screen and maybe down below in the description box we'll have to see but um we ended up getting this for London and this is her um first gift and I'm really excited to see her open this um on Christmas so this next gift is something that I knew I wanted to get her um I had been pricing them online and on Amazon but they were actually a couple dollars cheaper if I were to just go ahead into Walmart and pick it up. So I got this for $20 and um, it just is like this really big art coloring set. London's really into coloring and being creative. It's something that me and Joe, when we sat down to figure out what we were going to get them for Christmas this year, we wanted to get them something that they could be hands on in and not necessarily just a bunch of toys and of course with my girls being so close in age they're going to share all of these gifts anyway it's just who's going to open what on actual christmas so it has 128 pieces but it's just a bunch of crayons markers um colored pencils paper there's some coloring books in here some stickers um i think some clay so just a lot of really fun stuff up in here for London and then to go ahead with this because I didn't realize that there were um coloring books in here I actually picked her up two of these jumbo ones from the Dollar Tree when I did my um stocking stuffer or when I went shopping for stocking stuffers I'll also link that video down below of what's my kids stockings um I got everything from the Dollar Tree for under ten dollars per stocking so um, I picked up two of these. I picked her up this Paw Patrol one, which she's had before and I know she loves. And I also picked up this LOL Surprise one. Her and Lakin have been really into these LOL dolls. Um, so I saw this and figured she'd really like this one as well. So I'm going to end up wrapping her crayons and everything with her coloring books if that makes sense so that's going to be kind of one gift underneath the tree for her and then the last thing we got for London is actually what is going to be her Santa gift so how we do it is our girls get one big gift from Santa they get a couple of little gifts from mom and dad of course as they get older and their big gift becomes a little bit more expensive and things like that mom and dad will probably take that one over uh, me and my husband both grew up very modestly um, and we know what it's like to see other kids get really big gifts from Santa and not necessarily get those for ourselves. So we don't want to 
put that on our kids or other people's kids that are maybe not as fortunate so but for right now our kids aren't in school they're not doing things like that so um their big gift right now does come from santa and this is london's big gift um we got this at target during the veterans day sales london was actually with us when we were shopping this day um but we had my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law with us and we put this in their cart so she didn't see it but this is a Dominus Rex. When we asked London what she wanted for Christmas from Santa, the one thing she did say that she wanted was Jurassic World toys. These are her favorite toys. She's been on hooked on these things for like two years. Um, and she has pretty much every single one at this point. But she loves them. She plays with them every single day. So um, this one is Indominus Rex. And this is the one she wanted specifically. She watches the toy reviews on YouTube all the time. And this is the one she wanted. So we saw it. We snatched it up. And I think that I'm most excited for her to open this on Christmas for sure. So that's everything London's getting in um, for Christmas this year. And we, before I hop into Lakin's gifts, we also do what's called a family gift. That's something that I had growing up in my house and something Joe had growing up in his house as well. And the family gift is just meant to to, um, it's something addressed from Santa to our family to help us kind of spend time together. It's meant to get us all interacting and hanging out together. So sometimes that's board games or um, like a collection of movies that we all really like. Um, it kind of just depends. Sometimes it's puzzles. Last year our girls got a bunch of building blocks um, and that was our family gift from Santa. And this year, dear Santa is giving us a snowman making kit. Or originally, I was going to do a huge lot of Play Doh and a bunch of like um, cutouts and rolling pins and stuff like that. But I was mentioning that to my sister in law while we were over there making cookies um, over the holiday season. And she was like, oh no, please do not do that because I already ordered your girls a ton of Play Doh and a ton of stuff. Um, and that's what I'm giving them for Christmas, so don't order any more Play-Doh. So um, we switched it and we picked up this snowman making kit also during the Veterans Day sales. I, we got this one from Tractor Supply and I think it was, I think it was like $15, but um, it comes with um, three little like snow markers, um, some buttons, um, some eyes, a carrot nose, his hat, of course, and then really fun little snowman making kits. So this will be fun for us to do, hopefully before baby boy arrives, or maybe Joe can go ahead and take the girls outside and spend some quality time with them after their brother arrives, and they can kind of go ahead and make some snowman. So I thought this would be really fun. So this is what our family gift is going to be this year. And now I'll move right into what Lakin is getting this year. Lakin is our two-year-old. We asked Lakin the same thing. What do you want from Santa? this year for Christmas and the only thing she said is she wanted a gecko car so uh, this was on rollback at Walmart for like ten dollars and usually these are around 13 or 14 so I saw it was on sale and I picked it up this is actually I just picked this up last weekend Lakin we just finished shopping for today so um, but this is her little gecko car she has all these little characters so she'll be able to get them sitting up here in the seats but this is the one thing she said she wanted so I made sure that we got this for her for sure. This is Lakin's big gift and you're not going to think it by looking at it but this was the most expensive thing that she got this year um, so that's why we're classifying it as her big gift but this is Chase's Paw Patrol car and it comes with six of the Paw Patrol characters up here. She has um she got their big car I don't know what it's called um if I can I'll put a clip up of her playing with it or something but she got the really big car like the RV for her birthday and she's obsessed she plays with it all day every day that's like all honestly one of the only things she plays with and she also has this car but it's Sky's helicopter and it kind of folds out into like this little activity scene and those are the two things she plays with constantly so when I saw this it was on sale for 25 instead of 35 at Walmart so I went ahead and got this um, but this kind of opens up and 
kind of does around the same thing that her other cars do that she really enjoys from the Paw Patrol set. And of course then she can get all these little characters and stuff in here too. Um, so this was a steal and I had to grab it and um, I think she is going to absolutely love this and I kind of think I should have gotten another one but for London because they're definitely going to be fighting over this. So her last two gifts Joe literally just picked up on his way home from work today. I told him I was like London or London was completely done shopping for. Lakin still had $55 left in her budget um but Lakin was really involved in Joe's goose hunting and duck hunting this year. She just really had a lot of fun helping him. Um she wasn't allowed to go hunting this year. She's too little um at least in my opinion but Joe's um, able to hunt right across the street from our house so she was able to like watch him out the window and then he'd come home with geese and stuff and she loved helping him like butcher them and she was just really into it so Joe ended up getting her this um this is a wildlife hunter set and it comes with like a girl and of course the pink ranger and then um there's a duck dog in here and some ducks and some geese and I think she's really, really going to like this. I think Jo did a great job picking out her toys. Jo ended up getting her this. This is a Paradise and Horses set, but it's just a chicken coop, a, like a little Barbie, and a bunch of chickens. Um, but it comes with like two big chickens, a couple of chicks, eggs, um, your little egg collecting basket here, and of course your chicken coop. So Lakin's really, really, really going to love this and I'm really excited to see her open this one up as well. I think this is going to be a huge hit. I think out of all of her toys, she's going to be playing with this constantly. So that is it. That's everything I've got my kids for Christmas. Like I said, they both had a $100 budget, which equaled about four toys each for them, which I think is really, really good. It was a really minimal approach to Christmas this year and I honestly loved it. I would not have changed it and I'm excited to do it again next year. But I want to know down below what are you most excited to give your kids for Christmas. Like I said, for London it's definitely her um, Indominus Rex and for Lakin I think it's the little chicken coop that Joe ended up picking up tonight. I think both the girls are going to be really excited to open those up on Christmas morning. So let me know down below what are you most excited to see your kids open for Christmas. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll link my last year's what I got my kids for Christmas video down below in case you feel like binge watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.